I'm about to say, yo, this is on me because I'm supposed to be the best guy on this defense. I have to You know what? Um, I think you know, if I were to make that play, I'm going to do that was a big play. Um, and I, I, put that on, I put that on myself. I had an opportunity to make a big play, but I didn't you know, go through that. So you sort of put that on yourself. But now it's like, you know, that game is behind us. We lost that game. I mean, we could have won it, could have, should have, would have. But that doesn't mean anything. In this league, you got to win games some kind of way. And uh, you got to look forward to this weekend. Let that game sort of, you know, you got to forget about that game. This is a new game. It's an NFC. This game will be playing against Philadelphia the Eagles. And, uh, you know, they're a pretty good team. And so we got to look at that. What is, your, yeah, sure. what is your biggest sort of hope for things to change? What you, you know, I don't hope for anything. I hope for a win. I mean, it's not hoping to, for change or anything. The only thing is change is the L's and W's. And uh, any way that we can get those, uh, that's how we need to be. Are you a 3-5 and five team or do you, you feel like you're better, you have better talent you know than 3-5? and five? Right now, we're a 3-5 and five team. I mean, okay. that's, that's what our record tells us that we are. And uh, and that's no real fan bus about it. You know, we, yeah, we can play better, but we haven't been playing better in those games that we lost. So we got to sort of figure out which we have. I feel like we, that we have going into this week of uh, how to execute, how to play a better game, and figure out how to you know change those hills to doubles. I know you've uh, you've done this before. What's the toughest thing about rushing against Michael Vick? Um, you know, he's a you know they have sort of two of the prolific guys in our on offense with you know Shady McCoy and. Uh, you know, Michael Vick guys that can run, you know, he can pass the ball, and uh, you got to sort of keep him corralled in the pocket because he can string plays out. That's what he's really good at, stringing plays out. And, you know, sometimes on third and tens when you, you know, you try to pin your ears back and go and get him, that's where he can, you know, beat you if you keep those lanes. If you don't have good fundamentally sound lanes and keep him in the pocket, you know, he can run and, and make big plays, and that's what you have to be worried about. He's surprised he didn't hit as much as he knocked the ball out of the quarterback's hands like three times now. You know what? Um, yeah, the pass rush, you can't get frustrated when you, um, you know, trying to get at the quarterback. You just got to um, try to knock the ball out any time you can. And eventually things turn around. Are you surprised if Vicks forget as much as he has been? Because he's usually just a loose guy. Um, uh, you know, you, you could be surprised all you want to how many times he get hit. But um, you know, he's still getting that ball off. He's getting that ball off, and he's still making plays. And, we gotta find some way to get pressure on them. You know, every week you gotta stop the run. They've been running. I mean, I think they had like 150 yards the first half of the last game. You gotta be able to stop the run and make them one dimensional and make them pass that ball. So, what do you think when you see him hit seven times by a team that really hasn't really been rushing the passer that great? Um, bit. You know what the thing is? You gotta say, all right, can that those hits rattle him? You know, and I feel like as a quarterback, if you get hit, a certain amount of times, it does rally you in the pocket. You know, sometimes you'll start watching the rush because you know those guys are coming. They're gonna make you make indecisive decisions. So you always, as pass rushers, go into the game and say, hey, you gotta get hits on the quarterback. You might not sack them, but you have to get pressure. You gotta get those big hits to sort of make them stop looking out for you. Well, they call this a desperation bowl. You guys don't want to say desperate, but you guys know, you know, obviously you're three and five, but three and six is really tough to, to come back. You got is, to win this game. I, mean, huh? I feel like Every game from now on, it's, it's a must-win game. Okay. I mean, that's just the bottom line. I mean, you, you can't say, um, you know, what I did in the past. You can't say, you know, what about next week? You know, it's right now. Every week is a right-now game. You know, this week is a right-now game. The week after that's going to be a right-now game. And you got to sort of, right now, your back is against the wall. And you got to start pushing forward, forward, some type of way to sort of get you know, further away from it. I feel like it's time to for you as one of the just rally the troops, team meeting, let's, this is our season, the last eight weeks. I don't know if you've done that yet. Or you you know, like the thing is, it's not um, going and saying corral the troops. I mean, we didn't know it was expected. I mean, guys, we've had our talks and we know what we have to do. It's, you know, deep down inside, do you want it or not? And that's what it boils down to. Do you want it? Um, and I feel like all the guys here want it, and uh, we're going to try to show it this week. Can you guarantee a win? Say again. What did you say? Can you guarantee a win? <laughs> say again. You guaranteeing a win? Huh? You going to guarantee a win? Oh, no. Get that out of here. <laughs> <laughs>